This morning, President Biden approved Governor Greg Abbott's request declaring a major federal disaster in Texas. Now that means Texans may now qualify for financial help from FEMA. It could help you afford your repairs to your home or a hotel room. This is really critical for people who don't have any insurance, but even if you are insured, FEMA might still be able to help. Here's what the agency told me this afternoon. Depending on your uh, insurance policy, they might cover some expenses or might uh, not fully cover expenses, and then we could uh, we could help with the reimbursement. Uh, we may be able to help with rental assistance, uh, for example. Uh, some folks may be eligible for uh, for uh, a low interest loan from the U.S. Small Business Administration. They get they get to that after they register with FEMA. What kind of damages? Does it have to be physical damage to your home, like flooding from a pipe that would be covered? Or could it be something like we were without power for four days, we lost all of our food, we are having trouble, you know, covering the cost of restocking the refrigerator? We, we can't help you with uh, restocking your food, but uh, if you had damages, we may be able to help there. If you had to go to a hotel, we may be able to help you. So let's talk process now, how to get this money. FEMA says the first call is your insurance agent. Next step, insured or not, is to register with FEMA online. Document everything, the damage, the cleanup, the repairs, and keep all of your receipts. FEMA's website is disasterassistance.gov. We know you are trying to remember a lot of numbers and websites right now, so the easiest place to go for a link to that is just WFAA.com. Right now, 77 Texas counties qualify for FEMA aid, and that number could go up. We've also got the list of counties on WFAA.com.